Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make uh, a media center out of your Raspberry Pi with the Kodi operating system. First of all, what you need is to have your main PC switched on and same as uh, your Raspberry Pi. Uh, go to your Raspberry Pi first just to set up a few information there. Uh, then what you need, I mean as you can see I already got mine all set up and ready. You will need to go to videos, then files. Uh, here you will need to select the last option which will say add videos. In some cases you might have it to be your first option, just select to uh, add videos. Then here you will need to cl click browse. Then here is where you will need to start. I already got mine set up. Then click, uh, then choose the option that says add network location. Uh, the only two information they need to put in is your server name and your username. So the server name is your IP addresses and your username is the username of your ma machine. To get those two information is you need to switch your main PC on and as I said before. And you will need to uh, go to CMD, type in IP config. And I will give you the IP addresses. Uh, uh, you you might have if you're running have a desktop, you might have two. In some case, you might be running it through a wireless dongle, then that will show say wireless network, or otherwise it will be an Ethernet cable. So you, you once you got that information out, then you will need to insert it in that server name. Then once it's finished, the IP address is there. Then after it, port four four five. Then the username it will basically will be in the same page you got your CMD open. It will be up there. It will be the my one is called page sir, but yours could be whatever you named it. So once you got that little information set up there, or you found that information, then you will need to put it here. So once you put it, uh, once you put it into in this here, just choose OK. But I already got mine set up. Then one, and then the other option that you need to do, the next thing is from your main PC is to share some folders on the network. So if any other devices need to get it, it they can receive it. So just to prove that that this method will work, and it is, yeah, I'm going to go on mine, which I already shared it. Um, I would move, go to movies and here you see you got all of these videos and I'm going to create a new folder on my main machine and basically I create a new folder and just leave it as that as a new folder right click on it make sure the folder is selected then click shared then on a specific people uh, Okay, uh, once you got your specific uh, folder, you chose that, and then it came up. Here will give you the option. So what you need to do is you need to click that drop down menu, uh, and then uh, you choose everybody because you know everybody can have access to it. Then once you click that, and just to show you the works, you once you choose everybody or everyone, you click add. And you see, you ha uh, here it says the bottom one says you're the owner, and then they can have freedom. So what you can do is you can give them more rights, just in case if they want. But you, you can leave it as a read only, and then click share. And here it gives you the path. So then just click done, and that's it. That side on the on the computer side is finished. Then what you need to do is go back to your Raspberry Pi and then just exit out of this and then go back into browse again then go on to the one that I already made for myself and go to movies there you go see then the folder that we created and then that's already there now so that means when you do share it's good and now what you can do is and if you've got a television, you can connect that to your television in your living room anywhere. And now you can turn that into a smart television or something like that. And then you can now watch a film anywhere that you want. 
And now let's test one of the movies that I already got. So if I go to files back again, and then go to my movies, the new movies, and here are basically the movies list that you can have. So if I just choose any of them, random, and then click that. And then just wait for it to load. And there you go. You got the whole movie turned on working. So, and that is basically how you turn your Raspberry Pi with Kodi or Print System into a shared media. And that just not works with just video. You can use it as a music, pictures, etc, etc. So, I hope uh, this video got useful for at least some of you or... If you found this video in, uh, in useful in any way, leave a comment or uh, uh, subscribe for more or any ideas for you want me to do recording on anything else, just leave a comment and tell me about that. Until then, thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.